Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody asked me how you would draw this in Corel. And ironically, I used to play around with almost something like this, trying to make a kid's puzzle or a puzzle using kind of this shape. But when you look at things like that, it's, it's basically a, a circle and another circle. And I just kind of measured it with a, a parallel dimension tool and you can't get a really good measurement. So it's like 307, I'm a little bit long on that and like 150. So it's exactly, uh, that little circle in the center is exactly half the other circle. So if we start off with a five inch circle with your ratio locked right here, so it'll, you only have to do it once, control D and make a duplicate and make that circle half the other one, which is 2.5. Now you have two circles. The distance we need to move it is 3.75. So I'm going to control D and get that right there and then control D, control D. I'm going to go ahead and add another one. I don't think I need it. But then we can just select these. We don't have to group them. Control D and move it down. We've got way more than we need, but uh, just showing you how to do it. Now, one of the smartest things you can do when you're doing stuff like this is to group this together so we can get rid of it in a minute. So now I'm going to take my Smart Fill tool and I'm going to fill in that one. I'm going to change colors. I don't like that color. Um, go there, there. Let me zoom in a little bit. Smart Fill tool. And I'm just filling in all the spots and just making this continuous pattern, kind of. Um, so there you have one of them. And what I would do, because this is grouped, I would nudge this out of the way. I didn't get the, all the other one. And you know what? Now I can actually make my nudge factor like six inches. So we're going to get all the blue. And because the other's grouped, I can't grab it. And then we're going to make, well, because this way you can go up. There's little bitty lines in this. You might not be able to see it, but right there there's a line. So at this time, you can go in and combine it. And by combining it, it's going to get rid of those lines. Whoop. That didn't work. Sometimes it doesn't work. So what you can do then is left-click, right-click, and just take your virtual segment delete key and delete these lines. It's just going to take a second. And you actually, I think you've actually got to do both of them. You could almost maybe just mirror this thing, but we got the new line, so we're going to take their smart fill tool. So now we have no line for sure. You know, actually, I'm going to try this. I don't know if we could rotate this 180 degrees, but I don't think it's going to fit in our note because it's going to be just the, we, you could move it around. So I'm, what I'm going to do is make a duplicate of this guy now and move it over. So now I can fill in the other parts with a green or another color, just like they used in the picture. And just fill in this part. Now you should be able to weld uh, these parts, but I think because there's so many. So now what we can do is just delete this one. And now we can grab this one and nudge it over. See, weld is going to, when you're doing something like this, well, it just doesn't work a lot of times. So same thing, left click, right click. Doesn't necessarily, doesn't matter what color you're using. Uh, smart fill or virtual segment delete key. It just easily delete these lines. And because this is the, the exact opposite of that one, uh, when we nudge, they'll go right together. So we're going to take our smart fill tool now set on green. Fill that in and nudge it out of the way. And there's that pattern. Pretty easy, pretty simple. Um, I, for a long time, was working on a puzzle. Um, something to this effect, but where all the pieces would fit together. Anyway, I hope that answered their question. And thank you for watching.